They say learning orgo is like learning how to ride a bike, and they're right, except if you have a shitty orgo professor, it's like they're trying to push you off the bike as you're learning. Now how you do in the class is 50% based on how nice your professor is, so if you have the choice, don't settle for the shit professor. The other 30% is how much you study, and 20% is the intrinsic difficulty of the material. Now objectively, Orgo is a 6 out of 10 hard, but like a good personality can bring a guy from 6 to a 10, a bad professor can turn Orgo from a 6 shitty to an 11. That being said, given that there are a lot of dick professors, you'll probably do most of your learning from this guy, this guy, and this guy. Now Orgo is generally split into two semesters, Orgo 1 is about the foundation, some reactions, synthesis, and Orgo 2 goes over more reactions, mostly carbonyl reactions, and synthetics, and along the way somewhere you learn this thing called spectroscopy. Now generally, people say Orgo 1 is harder, that's because for most people it's the first time they realize it's hard to pass college without studying, and because most people spend more time fucking around with their model kits than doing Orgo. Now in Orgo 1, no one tells you what the fuck the reactions you're learning do. You're gonna go straight from naming and assigning RNS and things like that to learning about oxymercuration with no idea, no context what the fuck oxymercuration is. However, the second you transition to reactions, your life will be a lot easier if you just make a table categorizing their broad classes. For example, they'll make you think the reaction is a super hard reaction by calling it something like hydroboration when really it's just a reaction that adds an OH group. Now much of Orgo after the basics involves using what you know to make something simple into something much more complex, and this is called synthetics. Synthetics is pretty easy if you have a big ass tree that tells you what every reaction does. And overall, if you have a nice professor, it shouldn't be too bad if you're doing a shit ton of practice problems. Also, practice tests from your professors are gold, as most times tests are just recycled from some giant question bank. Now, I'm still convinced that 80% of the reason this class exists is to spite salty premeds, and for some reason, most people only really start getting orgo months after taking the class, but the premeds who did well will look back in a year and think they passed the hardest class in the school, but those actually majoring in chem will look back in a year and wish they were back in orgo. Just like how we're coming to the end of this video, orgo is the number one class that causes people to end their time as premeds, as one by one they switch to business majors.